Well, well, well. So I want to do this other video about the Cassie and Diddy drama. It's like she went through trauma, but it's not uncommon when you have people in power, especially, you know, men in power of this magnitude. And then it just got me to thinking, so basically, let me read this quick article, People Magazine. Cassie's husband, Alex Fine, has had her back as she filed a lawsuit against X Diddy. The R&B star filed a lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs on Thursday, alleging he R-worded and SES trafficked her over the course of an abusive 10 years. Cassie has a supportive husband in Alex Fine. According to the documents obtained by people, the R&B star filed a lawsuit against her ex-boyfriend, Sean Diddy Combs, on Thursday, alleging the music mogul kept her stuck in a decade-long cycle of abuse, violence, and SEX trafficking that included a 2018 RAPE after she tried to leave him and multiple instances of domestic violence. In a statement to People, Combs' lawyer Ben Braffman denied all the allegations, which he called offensive and outrageous. Cassie, whose real name is Cassandra Ventura, began dating actor and personal trainer Fine in 2018, and they got married the following year. Since entering the relationship, a source tells People, he's had her back through a lot. According to the complaint filed in New York, the me and you singer met Combs in 2005, when she was 19 years old and he was 37. And she signed to his Bad Boy Records label in 2006. Ventura had a boyfriend at the time. And Combs was publicly dating Kim Porter. But he allegedly pursued a relationship with Ventura until she agreed to go out with him in September 2007, fearing retaliation should she deny him. Remember that jingle back in the day I used to, well, back in the day, what, like last year used to do? Everybody love me. Everybody love me. No, they don't. Everybody love me. Everybody love me. No, they won't. And I think that's what some of them think. No, uh, everybody loves an opportunity. And it's easier to get, except when it's a black woman, it's easier to get if you can find one of these with some money. Oh, it's e easy to get. He's the black billionaire. You know what, the billion dollars? What was her, her husband when she met him? A trainer? A trainer, and I believe, what, uh, maybe um, he's an actor, which I just never heard of him. But understand this. They need to understand billionaire boys, men rather. Everybody doesn't want you, but they want what they can extract. And that's a fact. That's my opinion. It's proven over and over again. Here's what she wants and seems happy. So he was with Kim Porter at the time, who's no longer with us, and still going after Cassie. So instead of her wanting a billionaire black man, she chose this young man here. I guess the billionaire couldn't pull it off. Being what she experienced, what she said she allegedly experienced, or what, what, what do you expect? Ten years of this madness, based on what her, based on her allegations. So now, look who's winning. Oh, Alex, fine. Is sure everything sure is fine? It settled in one day. Wow. Alex, fine. Y'all going to be fine. Thanks to who? Y'all going to be fine. This right here, a billion dollars. What has he done for his community? Huh? Seriously? Now they're going to be fine. They'll be worth more than any apples or probably acting career he can get together. 
I'm not familiar with young men. I never, I've never seen them before acting anything. So maybe you all know more about that than me. But they're going to be fine. Why? Thanks to do, 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 do. extraction of wealth based on behavior. They are going to be fine. The family will be fine. You don't have to work another day in your life. Yeah. Oh, they're going to be good. They can, man, they can have, oh, I, I don't know what the settlement amount is, but we know it's got to be major. So within one day, well, that's not like you were easy to pay to get that. It makes me think you're easy to pay to get that away, get, get, uh, get this over with. Man, and when they want it settled, anybody been in negotiations? When somebody wants something done, they'll sweeten the pot. They will sweeten the pot to make sure you sign. So for them to settle within one day, it had it's undisclosed, as I understand, but it had to be a hell of an offer. They're gonna be fine, man. They can probably have a house. Are you kidding? House in France, flying back and forth, apartment in New York, wherever you want to live. This m- more than one home. Travel, kids through private school, Harvard paid for on Ivy League, whatever they want, any kind of business. Their fa- the- their families can be fine. They can fund businesses for their relatives. They can uh, put up a a trust. Lawyers getting paid. Somebody probably able to buy a yacht. Why? Able to buy a yacht off the billionaire T-Dot. T-Dot, in case you're new to the channel, welcome. T-Dot stands for what I call that dusty over there. Oh, somebody going to have a heck of a vacation. Papa got ready to go on a cruise. And they'll be all eating off of you know who. Money just falls into the lap. Because they're going to they're gonna do something. Either, either give it to you voluntarily. Either do that. Or just do something outrageous. Come through litigation. But they're going to be fine. Oh, happy family. Oh, how many black folks are eating off him? And as I understand, and I cannot confirm or deny, I have no personal knowledge, but it's too many people. Have you noticed? How is it when we get with it? It's too many people not always talking about they didn't get paid. Look at Mace. And he said, oh, I got the receipts. Mace says, mama got the receipts. <laughs> Mace is saying, it's too many people saying, artists saying they were not getting paid their royalty. What's, what's up with it? Oh, so and so got some records. Yeah, so and so's not here anymore. Very typical of this group. Tony Braxton, TLC. Who they sign up? Was it? Let me know. I'm trying to remember. Was it? Um, was it Face and L.A. Re? Was that who it was? I'm not sure. I believe so. Was it Pebbles? All these records sold, and one while I remember hearing. Can't confirm or deny that Tony Braxton, despite all those sales, was trying to hide out her BMW. You got to be kidding me. Hide out a BMW? What are you talking about? That's what something that was a word that was out there that I heard. They love, my opinion, they love to keep wealth from their own, but other folks come along free for the taking. In the words of the Clark sisters, yours for the asking. Child with these T dots, don't miss your financial blessing. Whatever you need from the dusty, dusty, you can get what you need. Self hating dusties. In case you don't know, that's for my, uh, a little, what was it, Clark Sisters had a song called About Yours for the Asking. Child of T-Dots, or oh, a non-melanated woman's blessing, yours for the asking. They're going to do something. May become, it, it seems like sometimes a nightmare based on what she's saying, but just wait. They'll pay up. Oh, they'll pay up. Set your whole family up, buttercup. So this here, 
generational wealth. I mean, undisclosed, settle within twenty. Sometimes settlements, negotiations break down. That's been my mind experience. Break down. Twenty four hours. It must have been a hell of an offer. In my opinion, had to have been a settle that quick. That sounds like a give you whatever you want just to get rid of you. Sign these papers. I wouldn't be so NDA gag order. You know you 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 know how it goes, most of you. In case someone's like real young, don't know about NDA, but that's why I say that. But yeah. A whole look. Generational wealth. But you got artists, other people. There are rumors, I'll have to say. Because, again, I can't confirm or deny. Rumors and allegations that dealing with people saying they didn't get paid. They miss the money. They're royalties. What, what's going on? So if that is the case, a.k.a. y'all heard, probably heard about me saying, if that is the case, look what's happening. If you try, if that is true, you should not put on want to pay your own. And look what happened. Your money still, even though it's, we don't know what the amount is, he's a billionaire. But if that is the case, maybe it's karma. You're going to end up paying another way. If that's the case. Again, waiting on the other shoe to drop. Uh, let's see if something happens this week. Somebody else may come forward. Bad boy for life. So she chose a, I'm just a regular person, billionaire boy right there. That's not what she wants. Here's the man she chose. Married. Not a, Didn't make a baby mama. What Did the article say about it after a year? So the woman's probably there for professional reasons. She's got the complexion for the protection. Know to give a chance. If she can just, uh, and I'm not familiar with her singing, but if she, if, when it's the complexion for the protection, they can just sound like, say something like, oh, 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 almost signed. You better sign. You better come on, get a beat going, get a beat going. So, girl, what's your claim to fame? Again, I'm not saying her, but I'm just saying with these canes. That's how I see them. As long as it's a woman with a complexion for the protection. Let me hear you say something. Uh, uh, oh. We're going to work with you. We're going to work with you. Sign here. So, how'd you get started? Met a chocolate drop and I said, uh, uh, oh. That sounds kind of bad. That's okay. Get you in that studio. If they got to get a black woman to try to mimic the voice and put you. <laughs> that, that's how I see them. I know I'm being facetious, but that's how I see them. But yeah. Generation, generational wealth. It seems, based on the rumors, I noticed that Tia, 600 bucks. How y'all selling all these records and all this money missing? N- new edition. Look who's in charge. New edition. Who didn't see the movie? Look who's in charge. It's like that. It's like to see their own star. It makes me think that. But it's all right. It's all right. JBW mama, just be white. A uh, close to it. It's all right. So this here, they, I, in my opinion, most of them, they are from the collective. A liability to their own. That's how I see the collective. For everyone, a few that's trying to do something positive, the, the it's the majority doing the, the exact opposite. So a liability to the owner is how I see them. But ooh, they are generational wealth builder to everybody else but their own. Generational wealth builder. To their own, I see a lot of them based on their behaviors. I see wealth killers. Wealth killers. But to everybody else, non-black people, child, they are generational wealth builders. That's my honest opinion. So that she got what she wants. Now the family can have healing, need therapy. I'm sure they have more than enough money to get it. Life of easy, take care of men. They can take care of hope. I'm sure I'm willing to bet you my opinion. Probably take care of a whole lot of people. Again, it's my commentary, my opinion. But for you to sell in one day, oh yeah. 
to me, it speaks volumes. Anyway, let me know what you all think. So now a lot of people, non-black people, they're going to be able to eat and rest and maybe pursue their dreams. Why? Off a of billionaire T-Dot. Child, they make the block get hot. The internet streets, Twitter, YouTube, the IG, everything. Settle. With, I never have anything. Settle within one day. Settle within one day. Speaks volumes. So again, for their own, I see most of them as a collective. They're wealth killers with all the fatherless baby mama homes. Don't forget the $50 billion liability boys. So for the BC, I see wealth killers. Not family, not worried about building. But for everybody else, they're a generation of wealth builders. And I believe that. Bye. Let me know what you all think. Thanks for watching.